And what if I helped you to make some other hands just for your automaton? Why should life be complicated when I already have what I need? And I very much doubt you are in any position to create such a perfect pair of hands. You mentioned an automaton pianist, didn't you? Where did you find it? I pieced it together myself, my dear. Except for the hands, that is. I admit that I underestimated the intricacy of this part of the design. A pianist's hands are very important, after all. But enough. Now he has a perfect set of hands. Your passion amazes me. Have you designed any other automatons here? No. Clockwork mechanisms do not interest me as such. I simply needed a robot capable of accompanying Helena Romanski on my huge organ. I adapted an existing model, a reject automaton secretary. I reconstructed it and adapted it to this new function. An existing model, you say? Did you ever know Hans Vorlberg? He was a kind of mechanical genius, like yourself. Hans Vorlberg? Yes. Or maybe... I don't know. No. No. Sure, I understand. The number of automatons still functioning in this abandoned complex is amazing, though. My dear, one thing is for sure. For many years, I have been totally alone here. If that man ever came to this city, he left long, long ago. When you stepped on the train, you were trespassing on private property. Everything in this city, sweet lady, belongs to the state. And to all intents and purposes, the state in this city is me. My train is not a part of this factory. And besides, we never would have stopped here in the first place if its engine hadn't needed winding. Well, as long as your train is at this station, it may be requisitioned and used for industrial purposes. Out of the question. And I forbid you to do so. Maybe I won't have to. Perhaps we can maybe come to some kind of agreement, my sweet lady. I hope so. And fast. Please excuse me. I have to go now. So be it. I'm resting, and I ain't home to no one right now. Love you, whoever you may be. And you try me later. It seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else.
Listen, obviously all this has been just one big misunderstanding. So you're going to give me Oscar's hands back, and we are going to get out of your city immediately. Out of the question. I must have these hands. That is all. When you stepped on the train, you were trespassed. Everything. My train. Well, out of the. Maybe. I hope so. Please excuse me. I have to go now. So be it. Listen. Out. Please excuse. So. No point weighing myself down. How are you, Oscar? Apart from the fact that I am incapable of drinking a cup of tea, of reading the paper, of scratching my nose, or even of adjusting my spectacles, everything is fine. Thank you for asking, Kate Walker. You know, Oscar, some of my reactions here surprise even myself. I didn't think I was capable of all this. Indeed, I admire you greatly for your achievements, Kate Walker. That's sweet, Oscar. The simple expression of a logical conclusion based on recorded data. Oscar, we can only carry on our journey by train if we get your hands back. And the only way to get your hands back is to accept the director's offer. You mean bring back this singer Helena Romansky? Oh dear! And what else will we need to do to get the hands back? Always ready with the precise euphemism. If it puts your mind at rest, Oscar, I absolutely do not need your help this time. Just take care of yourself while I'm away. That's a request I'm happy to obey, Kate Walker. This whole business is taking me out of my way. I'm beginning to wonder if I shouldn't just go back to New York and say that Hans Vorlberg is dead. Hans Vorlberg dead? Do you have some new information you have not shared with me? No, it was just a convenient hypothesis. Kate Walker! You mean you are ready to lie? I am deeply shocked. I thought that you were a sincere and honest person. Do you ever have a moment's weakness, Oscar? Never, Kate Walker. Discouragement does not feature in my behavior options. You're right, Oscar. We will find Hans and find him alive. That much I do believe. That's much more like it, Kate Walker. Take a note, Oscar. Not breaking down in this hellhole? Good idea. How many times must I inform you, Kate Walker? 
This is not a mechanical failure. Winding the spring mechanism is standard service procedure. Always ready with the precise euphemism. An engineer also prides himself on precision in such matters. Right. I'm done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. Hi, Mom. Kate! What? Have you seen the time? Why are you phoning me in the middle of the night? Oh, sorry, Mom. I forgot about the time zones. Did I wake you? Um, well, of course you woke me up. I, I was sleeping deeply, too. I simply got to get my beauty sleep. I've got an absolutely crazy day tomorrow. I'm sorry. It's just that it's real important and urgent. I haven't got a lot of time. Well, if it really can't wait till tomorrow, Munchkin, Come on, tell your mommy what's up. Uh, no way I'm calling Dan for you, if that's what you want. Mom, listen, please. I seem to remember you're seeing a Marovich or something like that at the moment. No, 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 no. Malkovich, Munchkin. Frank Malkovich. Yeah, right. So, but he's an opera singer, right? That's right. They say he had the finest voice of his time, my dear. Imagine that. That's just great. So then he must have known a famous singer called Helena Romansky. She's Russian, too. Please, if you can ask him if... Listen, honey, if it's stars you're after, Frank knows them all. I'll just wake him up and let him tell you himself. You mean he's... Oh, you do. Oh, Kate, listen, you're still there. Frank tells me he did hang out with a Romansky once, but it was platonic. You know those singers. She's a great soprano. Great. Does he know where she went? Does, does she still sing? Where does she live? One second, Munchkin. Frank says she was very ill and she withdrew from circulation. Really? Oh, what is... Oh, oh okay. Um, she went to rest in some spa somewhere. He thinks it was called Arrowbad, but it was 15 years ago and he's not sure. And well, honey... When Frank wakes up, he always takes a little bit of time to get going, you know. Thanks, Abundo Mom. And Frank, too. You're both fantastic. Love you both. Thanks again. Catch you later. Hello? Did I wake you up? I can't sleep at all. This whole business just keeps turning round and round in my head. What business, Dan? But Kate, that argument we had, have you forgotten? I really need to talk about that again. Oh, you know, I, I guess we were both a little high-strung, that's all. But don't sweat it, okay? Yeah, sure. Getting carried away never solves anything, does it? I must say I felt really dumb when I hung up. Really? Yeah, I left the door to my office open, and I was convinced everybody around heard me. Uh, I'm so embarrassed, Dan. Please say I'm sorry to your colleagues from me. It doesn't matter, honey. Promise me that you will never put me in that state again. You're usually so delightful. I have the impression that this journey is putting more than distance between us. Well, it's true. I'm living a whole load of new and amazing experiences. Okay, I see. And a still no Hans Warlberg? No. Keep me posted. You know how important you are to me. Hurry home, huh? I'll try. Big hug, Dan.
Director. Ah, it is you, Miss Walker. Director, I think I know where Helena Romanski is. My God, you have found Helena? That is fantastic. From my research, Helena Romanski is living in Arlbad. Arlbad? Helena Romanski is in Arlbad. You know the town then? You know where it is? Of course. It was a famous spa resort. In its heyday, Arlbad welcomed all the big wigs of the regime. To be granted a stay there was a real honor. Today, the honor has gone, along with all the generals and colonels, all washed away with the sea. It sounds like a good place if you need to take it easy or convalesce. I think Madame Romanski would be happier here. I think she'll prefer the peace and quiet here. The perfect tranquility of our little town. From my research, Helena Romanski is... Arlba! You know... Of course. It sounds... I... Th Why don't you come with me? After all... You're the person in the best position to convince Helena Romanski. Unfortunately, since my accident, I seldom leave my office if I can avoid it. And it is not wise for a director to leave his city now, is it? How can I get to Arlbad? There is one way that you can. Here, in the city, there are no suitable vehicles left. But that drunk old fool living up there, he'll have something. What drunken old fool? You mean you're not alone? What's up there? You mean you haven't noticed the space compound on the plateau? There's still some pathetic old soldier guarding it. But he's more interested these days in reaching for another bottle than reaching for the stars. And you think this gentleman could have a vehicle for me? I haven't the slightest idea. If you catch him on a good day, then maybe. But good days for him are far and few between. I wish you luck. How do I get up to the space compound, then? There is a monorail that leads up to the Cosmodrome. When you are inside, I will activate the automatic pilot. Okay, I'm going. Wish me luck. I am counting on you, Miss Walker. <laughs>